finding the same information using a table of values. We can find the same information that we've already identified for our two examples by using a table of values. The table of values was used to create or plot our graphs, so we can use the information here. Here's a table of values. This table of values corresponds with a quadratic expression. Let's look at step one. We're going to find the vertex. In order to find the vertex, you need to find the single value for y. On a parabola, y values are duplicated except for at one point, and that's at the vertex. Notice here, y, 0, there are two of them. A y of negative 5, there are two of them. A y of 8, or negative 8, there are two of them. But there's only one negative 9. Since there's only one negative 9, this must be the vertex. The vertex, then, is at negative 1, negative 9. Or, when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to negative 9. This is our vertex. Step 2. Let's find the axis of symmetry. Well, in order to do this, we look for the x value in the vertex. The x value in the vertex is negative 1. So x is equal to negative 1. This represents the line that creates our axis of symmetry. We can say that x equals negative 1 is the axis of symmetry. Step 3. Let's find the maximum and minimum value. Look for the y value of the vertex. The y value of the vertex is negative 9. Notice that all the other numbers are bigger than negative 9. This means negative 9 negative 9 is our minimum value. If it is more than the others, it would be a maximum value. But since it's less, it's a minimum value. Step 4. Let's find the x-intercepts. We're going to look for the y values of 0. y is equal to 0 at two points. So we'll have two x-intercepts. Our first one is at negative 4, and our second is at 2. negative 4, 0, and 2, 0 are the x-intercepts. Step 5. Let's find the y-intercept. Remember that the y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. Here's x equals 0 and our y-intercept. 0, negative 8. This is our y-intercept. 